YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Travel Beard. We are back with another video. You know how we do. Hit the comments, subscribe, share the video, like your video, all that good stuff. What I need you guys to do is check this video out right here. That's how we're gonna do this. Today, this video, this topic is this. The common mistakes text make, all right? So I'm gonna show you some things from instruments that are common mistakes that we all make. Even I've made them. Um, I've slipped up a couple of times before, you know, but you know, once you slip, you now you can be aware that puddle is there. So I'm gonna show you some things and we're gonna go through this, all right? Let's go. All right, guys, so let's go to the first common mistake most techs make, um, instrument techs make. So this is the first one we're gonna go through. Pull suctions, okay? This is a common mistake you'll see. A lot of people get caught up and jammed up with. So when you get a tray, the first thing most think that it is just a natural fit. The common thing is to do is to check to make sure it fits. This, as you can see, doesn't fit. The reason why, you see, it's no, um, it, the serrations are within. So you have to get the one that matches this, which would be this. See, this stays. This wouldn't go. Two different ones, two different ones. So most time you get this together, it's always common to check. Most people do not check. We just assume after we clean it that, okay, this is the same one. It's not. Always check your suctions. So this is a common one that many people get jammed up in. Just check your suctions. Let's go to the next one. Okay, I have another one for you guys. This one is common, uh, happens a lot, different hospitals. And, and mainly because of the, um, the training systems that a lot of people just fail to get or uh, the leadership or the senior people aren't just passing information down, all right? So usually you'll get a cysto tray. A cysto tray, it comes, it's supposed to come broken down from the OR and then come down here. What happens is when it comes down like this and then you get it in the washer like this, you should know that something is wrong because this not supposed to be in there. You'll see this is similar to a gamma tray when if you don't break down a gamma tray, uh, the stuff are still simple to it. So this is really similar. Similar. A lot of people will send this through, clean it off, put it in a washer and just assume that it's clean. No, this thing is still considered contaminated. It's dirty. Especially you, you should always check, you know, usually on count sheets they'll ask for a scope. You'll see, oh, my scope is here and this is there. And you may think this is this is this and this is this, but always take them apart. Common thing to do is take it apart. Listen, one thing you can go wrong with is if you see something together, just take it apart. Just take it apart. Okay, guys, so um, this is a common one as well. And this is really perfect because it happened today and I caught it. But I ain't gonna say nothing because this is they used to this. So the common thing when you wrap mostly sterad, you should never cross the tape. The reason why you don't cross the tape because one part of the tape will not be uh, considered sterile. Now, if it goes up to the OR and they notice it, they will just reject it. Depending on the hospital, all hospitals are created differently with their level of standards. So are the departments and sterile process. So let me show you an example. This is example number one. Now, yellow. Uh, I don't know if that just helped my point, but um, as you can see, this is yellow, yellow. This is brownish here. So right here, it shows it didn't turn. So in most common systems, uh, most places that are you know strict as far as things, they would reject this because this shows that it's not sterile. It's common, bro. So that's not sterile. Um, and that just comes with the level of experience of not just the staff, but the people in the OR and your management system. Your management system kind of sets the bar to let you know, like, this is not still, we don't accept this, bring it back down, yada, yada, yada. So education does help, guys, and uh, that's considered not sterile. Next. Okay, we are back with Cisto again. This is the two thing for Cisto. This is two things I want you guys to be aware of. This is the common thing that happens with a lot of technicians, right? When they send a tray to uh, to be sterilized, sterilized, a lot of times this happens right here. You'll see this. When you see it like this, that means 
it's it's not it's closed the port is closed you want to be able to see through it right at this very moment you can't see through it but when, once you flatten it open once you flatten it you're able to see through it and see that it's visual um, anytime you sterilize something you want to make sure all ports are open now that's one thing right and your second part is this you want to make sure ah give me a second this should never be connected to it um, a lot of times at the particular hospital I'm at and a couple hospitals I've been to has always been in it you know the sheath and the sheath has always been in it and they're washing it like that and people are unaware that this does come apart and the reason why you may not know it because a lot of people just don't do the tray they don't know how to unassemble it they, they just don't know I mean you can't fault somebody if they don't know anything um, but what you could do is ask you know that's why it's important to ask because usually people who leave this to get into the tray and they'll sterilize and send it up they'll be the ones getting in trouble so education does help if you guys like this video don't forget to comment like and share the video hopefully this video was helpful to, to someone in the department hopefully you can pass this video on and help them in their journey of being a sterile process admission. if you are interested in being certified the description box below will help you in that journey the cheat sheet the most dangerous book around hands down i'm out of here guys back to my music i've been traded to the streets i've been traded to the streets like the Knicks doing a sweep I've been traded to the streets Chicken riddle